Thank you to everyone who's been supporting me, and you can also give extra support if you would like to over on my Patreon. The link for Patreon will be down below. Thank you. Enjoy the video. Hey everyone, it is me, Juan hey, Masasho, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I went from this to this. Now that I look at this makeup, it actually kind of reminds me of Dark Mole, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Such a nerd. Uh, it's just red and black, reminds me of Dark Mole. But yeah. So I'm going to be doing my base makeup and I'm going to start off with primer and this is my second time using this primer. I believe it's my second time using it. It's really good. It like leaves your skin super sticky and I enjoy it and I actually show you guys how sticky it is and it's right here when I was like oh my god it's like sticking to my hand. Crazy. <laughs> I'm going to go in with foundation. I wish I would have went in with a beauty blender, but I was too lazy to go wet my beauty blender and get up and everything. Um, but yeah, so I went in with a brush, but typically I would do this with a beauty blender. Um, and this is my updated foundation routine or base makeup routine, I guess you could call it. And I have foundation on my finger and I didn't realize that until I was editing. Um, but yeah, I think it's like really cool. Also, I am not sponsored by anyone. And my fan would not pop. Like, it did not snap. And I was like, okay, whatever. Um, This fan, that's the actual company that made it. They don't have the cat fan anymore. I don't know why they stopped doing it, but they just didn't do it. And it's just some random brand on Amazon. I thought this part was so hard with the concealer using a brush. I was like, I should have used a beauty blender, but obviously it worked. It just kind of feels pokey by the eye. <laughs> I don't know. I just prefer beauty blenders. I feel like they do a lot better job and it's more precise and more precision. And this is me using the kimchi setting powder, uh, kimchi chic. Setting power, puff puff pass, and translucent. I actually got it in like a color or a shade, I believe, but they sent me translucent, which I'm okay with. It works really well. I find this setting powder to be really finely milled. I said that on my TikTok and it is really finely milled and I like it a lot. It does a job. It blurs like underneath my eyes and I like to put it where I have like creasing in my makeup. And I also put it on my nose and then I realized that I did not contour at all. <laughs> so I had to go back and then contour on top of powder, which is worse. In my opinion, it's pretty bad. I'm still not used to contouring, but I've been getting better. But yeah, like to me, contouring is like the one thing that I just started getting into. Um, I've been trying for years to contour, but then I didn't start doing it actually for years because I was scared of doing it because it's hard if you don't get the right shade then you're wasting makeup and stuff like that it's a whole lot of whole lot of but yeah just blend it out and like I said in the last video this is a little bit too orange for me I don't mind I don't really care um but it's not that bad And I went back in with concealer and I just highlight the tip of my nose and then the line of the bridge of my nose. Yeah, <laughs> the line of my nose. And then I just decided to use my finger because my finger is more precise. This is where I really wish I had a beauty blender, especially a smaller one because it gets a lot more precise, but my finger is good enough and it melts in really well. And then I go back in with the kimchi chic puff off past translucent setting powder I'm making sure to press that into my face especially underneath my eye trying to get rid of some fine lines and I'm actually going in with bronzer this is my first time using bronzer um, I used it yesterday 
for TikTok, but yeah, I'm just using an eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to tap that off. You saw all that dust, all that product, but I actually really like the bronzer. I think bronzer is game changing. Um, but yeah, I like, I love bronzer. I think it's really nice. It's very subtle, very sleek. And it does a job of contour, so if you're afraid to contour, maybe try bronzer and just go in with a smaller brush and contour everywhere that you want to contour. I did that a little bit underneath my lip just to make sure that I get the illusion of having a bigger bottom lip. And then I went in with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 20, which is light medium. And I go over everywhere I put foundation essentially, but I want to make sure that there's a security blanket underneath where I'm going to be doing my eyeshadow. I want to make sure that there's going to be enough um, setting powder and I put that all over my face and I find it really important to set where you put foundation and stuff. And I kind of realized that I shouldn't have put it so much on my nose because I kind of got rid of the contour, but that's okay. I don't really care. Um, but yeah. I like to make sure that there's a security blanket underneath my eye. <laughs> I did my eyes off camera and I I was kind of feeling it. I feel like the red was just kind of like bleh. But I thought it was cute at the same time. That one doing a fishy face. <laughs> As I do my blush. And I went in with the Trixie Cosmetics uh, Back to Fuchsia palette and it's so cute. And I went in with this red lipstick. I thought this red lipstick was so beautiful with this red eye look. I'm just showing you guys how pigmented it is. And I actually went in with one coat of lipstick. I didn't have to go in with two. So I thought that was really nice. And I like these liquid matte lipsticks because they are matte. They're liquidy, but they're matte and they dry down matte and they don't smudge for like the whole day. And I just needed one application and it works perfectly. It gave me that bright color to match my eyes. So I thought that was really nice. And then of course my favorite blush and highlight to my favorites. And of course I, I hit pan forever ago. It's so sad. Um, I'm actually going to be trying a new highlight um, probably in the next, probably the video after this. I'll show you guys. I don't know. The next video that I should be coming out with should be a makeup video just of all the different colors of the rainbow. It should be. I'm not 100% sure, but it should be. Cause I've been doing that on TikTok, and I find I find it to be really nice, you know, getting out my comfort zone and also just doing my makeup. And yeah, I think it's really cool. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy this look, and stay tuned for the next video. It should be me doing all the eyeshadow looks for Pride Month. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hey, if you do like listen. this video, please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all my other bits of social media. If you'd like to give me some extra support, you can head over to my Patreon. Yes, I have a Patreon. It is patreon.com slash Thank you so much to my top tier potatoes for supporting me. And as always, I love you guys. See you guys later. Bye.